All of my friends have been hyping up this fairy loot box, so I am beyond excited to open it for you guys today. Hi guys, my name is Sabine and welcome to another video. Today I'm here to unbox the January fairy loot box. Now this box took a while to get here at my home, probably due to all of these like corona, covid, delayments and everything, but I've heard from all of my friends that this is their favorite fairy loot box until so far. I believe the theme is Greek mythology and to be honest, I'm usually not the biggest fan of Greek mythology things. Something about it doesn't really interest me, but because of all the feedback from my friends, I just cannot wait to open it. So let's do that. Okay, here we go. Like I said, the theme is Greek mythology and here is the spoiler card. I will leave all of the information regarding the items and the book in the description box down below because always so many amazing people create these designs. So definitely go check them out in the description box down below. Now let's have a look at the first item that I have here. Ooh, oh my God, I love this. The first item that I have here is like a wooden spoon, like a kitchen utensil, utility thing. But it says here on the, I don't, I don't, it's not really a spoon, but I don't know what to call this thing. Spatel? Like where you like just move your food with? <laughs> I don't know how to call this in English, but it says, did you know food is infinitely more scrumptious when you're in love? A quote from Lovely War by Julie Berry. I'm scared to use it because it's so beautiful. Next up, there are so many little worms in here. We have this little pouch right here and it says a fair loot exclusive metal bookmark. Oh, I think this one is like, oh, it has colors. That's so exciting. The last one was just like plain metal, I guess. Oh my God, this one is stunning. Would you look at that design? It's like a goddess of some sorts. My Greek mythology or just my mythology knowledge in general is extremely limited. So probably a lot of people know who this goddess is supposed to like be or resemble. I have no clue, but it is so pretty. And they are super, super sturdy. So this is really nice for your books. And I always love bookmarks with like tassels on them. I see another little pouch in here and I don't know why, but this makes it feel like even more of like a little present since you don't see what's in it. Ooh, okay, this is an iron on patch with Medusa on it. That's so pretty. I should really use these kinds of patches because I've received them before in other fairy loot boxes and they're all so stunning, but I just don't know what to put them on. Maybe on like my denim jacket. I think that looks really, really cool. Ooh, what is this? Oh my God, yes, I love these. This is a Cupid and Psyche. I don't know if I'm pronouncing that name correctly. Trinket tray. I have received another trinket tray in a fairy loot box and I use that all the time. Oh yes, it has like some gold details on it again. Such a pretty design and it's a little bigger than the one that they included in a previous box. I love it. I still have like some free space on one of my bookshelves here. So let me put it there. <laughs> the next item that I see is a print of, I am pretty sure that these are Percy and Annabelle from the Percy Jackson and the Olympian series because they have a CHB, so Camp Half Blood shirt on. Definitely something that I am considering to put on my little print wall that I have right here. Oh my god, what is this? Oh yes, another book pouch! I love this so much! Fairy loot book pouches, especially these ones, are amazing. And again, the box of August or October, we received another one of these book bags. They're huge and I believe that they are water resistant, but I'm not too sure. And this one is inspired by Circe, a super hyped book, but one that I'm not interested in reading. I'm so sorry, but on the front it says, but in a solitary life, there are rare moments when another soul dips near yours as stars once a year brush the earth. That's a stunning quote though. And the book sleeve has the design on both of its sides. I'm so glad they included another one of these because you could never have enough of them. They are really great at protecting your books. So I'm so glad that they included another one in this box. And besides that, we only have two more items left in the box. First, we have the tarot cards. As per usual, I do not know who these characters are, but you will know by checking the description box down below. And then the last item in the box is of course the book. I know which book is gonna be featured in this one because there is a highly anticipated Greek mythology novel that came out in January. And I've heard that this edition is so pretty. So I'm gonna close my eyes to kind of like keep it even more of a surprise to myself. Okay, so I have no clue. I'm gonna say that this is the front of the book and let's see. Ooh, oh my God. So this is Lore by Alexandra Bracken and this is the original cover of the book. Wow, this is really surprising. I would not expect for them to remove the head. 
of the person on the front of the cover. The games have begun and she's playing for her life and then on the back it says hunt or be hunted. In modern day New York, a murderous game is about to begin, the Aegon. Every seven years for one week only, Zeus punishes the gods by forcing them to walk the earth as mortals, savagely hunted by the descendants of ancient bloodlines, all eager to kill a god and seize their divine power and immortality. After her family was brutally murdered by a rival line, Lord Perseus fled, turning her back on the Aegon's cruel promises of eternal glory. For years, Lore has honored her parents' memory by doing one thing, surviving. For years, she has pushed away dark thoughts of revenge until now. As the next game dawns, Lore finds Athena gravely wounded on her doorstep. The goddess offers her an allegiance against their mutual enemy and a way to leave the Aegon behind forever. But Lore's decision to rejoin the hunt will come at a deadly cost and may not be enough to stop the rise of a new god with the power to destroy all of humanity. And those sprayed edges. Holy crap. These pages are yellow, but it has a black snake on the side. But I have a feeling that if I remove the dust jacket, the book underneath it and like the end pages and everything will be even more pretty. So let's have a look. <laughs> okay, so whoop, so many amazing things. So here we have a beautiful imprint. But if I remove the dust jacket, would you look at that? It's always so shiny, so I need to keep it at a good angle. And besides that, the book is even signed by Alexandra Bracken herself. And then in the little pouch, we still have artwork of the characters, a letter from the author, and we also have, oh, I got two, <laughs> the fairy scoop, which is always like a little magazine. And next month's theme is what the future holds. A little more of like a sci-fi fantasy type of box. So I'm very curious to receive that one next month. Wow, I can definitely see why for a lot of people, this is their new favorite box because it features so many amazing items in it and also very useful items that you can actually incorporate into your daily life because sometimes in these book boxes, you do receive items and you're like, huh, that's cute to have, but it's not really anything special. But with all of these items, I see myself using them all of the time. So that is great. I really adore this box. Let me know in the comments down below which one of the items is your favorite. I don't know which one is my favorite. I mean, I feel like it's definitely a tie between the book sleeve and this kitchen utensil. It's just so stunning and I love it all. So my friends were correct. This box is stunning. If you enjoyed this unboxing, please give it a thumbs up. You can subscribe to my channel by clicking somewhere here on the screen or on the button down below. Hopefully I will see you guys in the next one. Bye!